The electric vehicle startup company Lightyear, which has its headquarters in the Netherlands, has recently made its debut with the world's first solar production automobile, which goes by the name Lightyear Zero. The mission of the firm is to completely change the face of electric transportation in the future. According to the information that was supplied by the company, the game-changing vehicle would have a range of more than 1,000 kilometers between charges, and the very first deliveries of the autos will begin as soon as November of this year. Are you excited to check out the new light years? Want to know what's so special about it? Today we are going to discuss the light year first real future car. Following a total of six years spent on research and development, design, engineering, prototyping and testing, the company has revealed in an official statement that the manufacture of this high-end solar-powered automobile is scheduled to begin this fall. This announcement comes after the company spent the previous six years working on the project. In addition to this, it was reported that owners of the Lightyear Zero would be able to travel for up to seven months without the need to plug their vehicles into a household electrical supply or charging station. This was a significant improvement over previous models of electric vehicles, which could only travel for three months at a time before needing to be recharged. Lex Hufslut, the co-founder of Lightyear and chief executive officer of the company, made the following statement regarding the introduction of this groundbreaking automobile. Today is a day we've all been waiting for since us five co-founders sat in a kitchen sketching out our dream of building the most sustainable car on the planet. When we first began in 2016, we just had an idea. By the time we concluded in 2019, we had a fully functional prototype. Now, after six years of testing, iterating and redesigning as well as overcoming a large number of challenges, Light Year Zero provides proof that what was previously considered to be impossible is in fact doable. The unique solar panel that is mounted atop the Light Year Zero has a double curved shape and measures five square meters in total area. This panel will make it possible for the car to charge itself regardless of whether it is in motion or just parked in the open air. Light Year Zero is capable of self-powering itself with 70 kilometers of extra range per day, in addition to the anticipated 625 kilometers of WLTP range it possesses. This is under ideal conditions. According to the manufacturer, motorists who have a typical daily commute that is 35 kilometers can drive the Light Year Zero for months throughout the summer without the need to plug it into a public charger or an outlet in their own home if they have a typical daily commute. If they have a typical daily commute, the Light Year Zero has a range of 70 kilometers. The company which is situated in the Netherlands predicted that the amount of time would be two months in locations such as the Netherlands, but it might take as long as seven months in nations such as Spain and Portugal. Because it consumes only 10.5 kilowatt hours of electricity to travel 100 kilometers at an average speed of 110 kilometers per hour and has a drag coefficient that is lower than 0.119, making it the world's most aerodynamic family car to date, the company claims that the Lightyear Zero is the world's most efficient electric vehicle. The company bases this claim on the fact that it is the world's most aerodynamic family car to date. The Lightyear Zero is an all-electric vehicle that has a length of 5 meters and weighs just a combined total of 1,575 kilograms. It has a maximum range of 560 kilometers while traveling at highway speeds of 110 kilometers per hour. The exterior of the Lightyear Zero was intended to be very aerodynamic and has a look that is suggestive of the future as a result of the design work that was done on it. The design style is reminiscent of the Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX, which was only recently unveiled to the general public. It comes with a slanted rear part that has a lower bumper that is raised a little bit and an LED light strip that runs the length of the vehicle from one end to the other. In addition to that, it has a set of aero alloy wheels that have a stunning appearance. The inside of the Lightyear Zero retains the company's philosophy of simplicity, sustainability and comfort. It has a 10.1-inch touchscreen infotainment system, vegan and organically derived materials such as ecological microfiber suede seats, the rattan palm accents. In addition, the interior has accents made of rattan palms in various locations. In addition, Lightyear said that a total of 946 Lightyear Zeros will be produced for 250,000 euros a piece for the foreseeable future. And moving forward with Lightyear's next model, the company plans to strive for a high volume manufacturing automobile with a starting price of 30,000 euros and a production start date that falls somewhere between the late 2024 and early 2025 timeframes. 
The business asserts that the Lightyear 2 will be sold for less than $40,000 in the United States and Canada when the manufacture of the vehicle begins by the end of 2025. This is because the company's first production car, the Lightyear Zero, has a jaw-dropping price tag of 250,000 euros or $268,000 in Europe, and that's before taxes. We requested clarification from Lightyear, and this is what we were told by Lex Hofsflut, the CEO and co-founder of the firm. Despite the substantial price gap, which could lead one to believe that the Lightyear 2 is a more compact automobile, the Lightyear Zero is, in fact, larger than the Lightyear 2. The Lightyear 2 is a little bit bigger, with seating for five and plenty of space for baggage. The Lightyear 2 is more suited to the needs of a family, Hussflit informed inside EVs via email. Be aware that the significant price disparity between the two versions is because the Lightyear 2 is a model designed for the mainstream market that makes the Lightyear Zero technology accessible for a far larger number of people. The price, the amount of output, and the amount of space are the primary distinctions between Lightyear Zero and Lightyear 2. Lightyear Zero has a restricted manufacturing run and is exclusively sold in the European Union, the United Kingdom, Norway, and Switzerland. Lightyear 2 is the mass market model that takes the Lightyear Zero technology to the mass market in the European Union, the United Kingdom, and the United States at a price range that is less than $40,000. When it comes to price, the CEO of Lightyear noted that the reason the Lightyear Zero is so expensive is that it was created for a limited manufacturing run and is produced to the customer's specifications. We pressed on finding out more information on how Lightyear thinks it would be able to bring the price down to $40,000, and he acknowledged that several factors might affect the price of Lightyear 2 by the end of 2025, which is when manufacturing is planned to begin. We are committed to achieving the purpose of our organization, which is to make environmentally friendly modes of transportation available to all people everywhere. Lightyear, like many other businesses that are dependent on external supply chains, is not immune to the effects that variations in inflation and increased prices of raw materials may have on their bottom line. There is a chance that this may affect the starting price of the Lightyear 2, but we are committed to keeping our pledge that this model would have a price point that is more approachable than that of rival automobiles. When asked about the manufacturing objective for the Lightyear 2, Hofstlet responded by simply stating that the firm has received pre-orders for 21,000 vehicles from worldwide leasing and ride-sharing partners. Even though the firm has solid partnerships with several manufacturers, he refused to reveal where Lightyear intends to produce the Lightyear 2 and noted that the company had no additional specifics to provide on that right now. When it comes to pre-orders, Lightyear anticipates that they will begin accepting them in the middle of this year. Customers in the United States, the United Kingdom, and the European Union may already sign up for a waitlist that will put them at the front of the list to be alerted when pre-orders become available. Give them precedence when pre-ordering and let them reserve the first manufacturing slots. That's it for the day, guys. Let us know what you think about the Lightyear vehicles in the comments section below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.